Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 23. So Scar returned in the last episode. He fought Ed and Al. He's actually run off now. Well, Al has followed him and uh, presumably gonna try to stop him. Yeah, that's right. And during their conversation, Winry unfortunately heard that Scar was the one who murdered her parents. Yeah, but Ed stopped her from shooting Scar. Oh, she actually couldn't do it. And then Ed explained why it was a really nice scene. Uh, also, Ling and Lanfan are caught up with Gluttony and Wrath. So he's trying to escape them at the moment. Lanfan is injured. Ling is carrying her away somewhere, trying to escape. So there's a couple of things going on. I presume that Mustang's probably going to get involved this episode as well. I'd like to see a return, but I know he's not in the best shape. Yeah, he's still recovering from his injuries with Lust. Mm. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. I guess that's the only thing you could do in that scenario. I'm sorry. When this is over, I'll explain everything. Oh, she wanted the comfort. He's got to go back up his brother. Scar's pretty good. A dead end. We're trapped. Oh no. Oh gosh. I'll take care of that two little oh shit. Okay. This is not good. Oh, Lan Fan's back. Oh no, she's gonna do something noble. No! No! What the heck did she just do? Did she? Oh shit! Look oh, at what dang. Al's doing. Let's go, Al. I'm still sad about Lan Fan, Angelo. And don't worry, Al's got style and he's cute. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, a distraction. No, no, it's on his way. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Oh. Great. Yeah, oh. awesome. Guy yeah. might find out about the. Yeah, here we go. Yep. Okay, end him, please. Yes. No, it's not that simple. They gotta grab the stone. Yeah. See, so Scar's got no idea what it is. Obviously, mm. he's fought it once though. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? I don't like the way he moves. That was Fucking horror movie shit. Oh, that was so smart. Ah. She cut off her arm. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Ling's a boss. <laughs> there he goes. Just regenerates yet again. Oh, okay. Pretty graphic this time. Oh, nice. Oh, gross. Oh, she left her arm as a trail so he would follow. Oh, that's... Oh, my gosh. She sacrificed a lot there. Oh my gosh, man! Poor thing. Oh. I guess her arm was gonna be useless anyway. Oh dang! Put him in. We're getting out of here. Okay. Oh, 
I'm yeah. like, am I dumb? <laughs> you know what's funny? Remember what um, Mustang said? Massive meatball. He wanted a, a hot nurse. And she's dressed up like a nurse. <laughs> yeah! He's been shot now, so he's weakened. He'll probably want to get out of there as soon as possible. Oh, oh shit. What's her name? I think it's May, isn't it? Or my. No. <laughs> <laughs> she messed him up. That's bad timing for her. No, isn't she obsessed with Ed? She's a boss! What is she doing? Oh. Oh, shit. That was sick. She used to... The trains is like... An explosion there. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of really adorable, isn't it? What's her name? It's May or Mai. <laughs> I have forgotten. You have to get her. Nice. Yeah. I feel like... Roy didn't leave her behind, you know? So she's doing the same thing. Yeah. Oh no. Uh... No. Great. Don't touch her, you piece of shit. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. I'll do it again because they skipped one. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's crazy. So, Mary, where are you? Oh, is that her pet? Look what I found, Ed. Oh, no. Al just adopted it. <laughs> He's got a kind heart. You can stay here, okay? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hey, Winry. Oh dear. As a friend of such an important alchemist, she deserves our every courtesy. Ellie's taking it too far. If you'll please excuse me, miss. This is a threat. It's a threat. You might be right. She might end up being a go-getter. She might end up doing something. Yeah. But I swear I said that early on, didn't I? Maybe not. I don't know. Miss Rockbell, there's a telephone call for you. For me? Fran? Bradley. She's needed. Mm. <laughs> Aww. It's good for her to feel needed and valued. Like her parents. I hope it doesn't end up getting her hurt. Nah, she'll be alright there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no! The bell is the villain. Oh, that's pissed me off. That's pissed me off just now. Say it! said that very aggressively, but that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. Well done, Ed. <laughs> He's like, shut up. <laughs> I love Al, man. I can't with Al. Ed's great too, I'm just saying. 
if the train explodes, I'm dropping the show. Angelo. Don't be like that. Yes, yeah. you have. Yes. You let her wander around the sewers with her arm cut off? Don't blame me if she gets locked jaw. Oh, shit. She's all right. She's awake. That would have been so painful. Oh shit. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. why didn't I consider this? Thank you for helping us with the Ross incident. Oh yeah, true. And also for bringing this thing in. Oh, it's so disgusting, man. Roy's gonna try to destroy the stone. What do we have here? Yeah, hopefully. Let's go. Yes. I saw his eye. The one under the badge had Oh good. This is Let's great. Let's go, Lynn. Bradley doesn't have the same sort of inhuman presence that you get from Gluttony. Yeah, he's more human. Feels like a regular person. Another thing. If the Führer is a homunculus, how could he possibly have a son? Yeah. We don't bloody know. The Führer son Selim is adopted. Ah. Mustang's going to the top. Mm -hmm. And I'll take his stone. It may prove useful in treating my man. Oh, he's gonna Thank use you. it for oh, yes. for havoc. Oh dear. Oh he's gonna oh, crack shit. it. Oh no. It's gonna end as the fight's about to break loose. Um, oh. Oh, sh oh my gosh. It's gonna end. Uh, bloody hate cliffhangers. I'm sick of this shit. All right, so where do we start? We've got uh, Lan Fan who severed her arm, created a false trail for, for Bradley. That was painful, but very brave, very smart. Um, Winry will probably give her some order mail and she'll be back to it. Yeah, thank goodness for that. I like it how Ed was the one who kind of gave her that idea. Yeah. Going back to an earlier episode, that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. I liked that a lot. Yeah, May reappeared. <laughs> I know, but she's lost her panda now. <laughs> yeah. What was her panda's name? Zhao May, I think it was. Yeah, she's with Al. It's so cute. She I'll couldn't just, be in better hands, honestly. I just couldn't leave her there. Just <laughs> popped her in the armor. He's a legend, mate. <laughs> I reckon he's going to have a hard time giving her back. I love this guy, honestly. He's great. <laughs> Winry found out about her parents. But that kind of gave her the the realization and understanding that she's got plenty of people that rely on her as well. So Yes, she, I like that for her. Yeah, she's going to follow in their footsteps and... Um, Help everyone else out. Mm -hmm. back in the, the way shop. that she knows how to. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because you could kind of say that she was feeling a little bit useless there. Yeah, because she was always waiting, she said. She was yes. always waiting um, for Ed and Elle to come back, her parents, all that sort of stuff. And now, yeah, people are waiting on her. Yeah. We got to see Ling in action a little bit more. Yeah, now that Ling has a bit more of a serious tone about him, I'm liking him a bit more. Oh, he's kind of epic. I'm not going to lie. I thought he was purely like comical relief no nah. but they don't waste characters in this show so i should have known better um but yeah really liking him a whole lot more now yeah but just the way that he cared for lan fan yeah and like did not give up on her no like not at one point no he, he was great um this episode mustang has another homunculus here and wants the stone i don't know it never uh entered my mind but he wants the stone obviously to fix Havoc. He wants to help Havoc out. Maybe he already mentioned it, but it was a detail I forgot about. I was just remembering back to when he absolutely incinerated Lust. So oh. I was thinking that they were going to do the same thing. But obviously, you know, the stone can be used for a number of reasons here. So, but like, notice how, even though the stone can be used for good, did you notice how it was still 
causing like that unrest between them all. Yeah, like they were fighting and everything like that. Yeah, they all want it for something. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe as they destroy the different homunculi, each person can kind of get what they want. I don't know if that's in line with what the show's trying to. I don't know, get across, but... Yeah, I don't know how they kill the homunculi but keep the stone because they had to destroy the stone to kill Lust. Yeah, true. Like, she kept growing around it. That's true. Roy knows that, though, so I don't know why he was saying he wants to use it for Havoc. Mm. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I can't remember the logistics, but uh, something happened there at the end. Yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah, uh, Gluttony kind of just opened up and there was an eye... Yes, it kind of reminded me of the same animation they used for the truth when they went into that realm. Okay. So I don't know what this means now. I'm I'm not sure what that is. You've just made the connection, but it's hard to kind of theorize on. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking maybe Gluttony tapped in to the its portal power or something. Okay. Yeah, to the portal. It went into he went into the realm or something, or <laughs> maybe the realm is inside Gluttony. Because remember when Bradley was saying that he's going to put Roy into the realm? Maybe gluttony is a pathway. To the truth. Yes. Are all the homunculi like that? No. Bradley is definitely not. Yeah, they were talking about Bradley again and shit wasn't making sense to them as well. So he's got an adopted kid, Salim, and he's not like the others, obviously, because he's like more human-like. Ages normally. Yeah. Um, we had some theories on that last episode, I'm pretty sure, too. Yeah. But Roy kind of smiled at the news because that just gives him even more of an excuse to try and get to the top and just root out this, this shit. But not even that. I think he was smiling because he knew the military had some sort of control, yeah. right? And now he knows what it is. Yeah. So taking that away from the, hum- the homunculi, that's like a massive power loss there for them. Yeah. No way, or it's going to be a lot harder for them to infiltrate the military now. Yeah, well, it's also further proving some of Roy's, um, I don't know, intuitions or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yep, theories. Yeah. Uh, also, Scar has found out what a homunculi is, obviously, because he's tried killing Gluttony and hasn't been successful twice mm-hmm. now. Um, Al then explained it. So I wonder what Scar's going to do with that information, because we did see him admit that Hate breeds more hate, or hatred breeds more hatred. Yeah, he saw that look on Winry's face. Yeah, that's that's kind of stuck with him. I would yep. really like for that to be the character's kind of motivation to change because he yes. killed Winry's parents. Winry can be the one that changes Scar. I think that could be a nice moment there. It I could think be a it nice could be thing. a nice moment too. Yes, yep. please. Yeah, that would be nice. I'm just kind of thinking now, that thing that we saw in Gluttony at the end there, if it was... A glimpse of the truth. Mm. That means that I'm assuming everyone who was there to witness it has now seen the truth. Yeah. Ed and Al already have, obviously. But I wonder if this gives, like, Roy, for example, you know, powers now, like Ed and Al, to be able to perform alchemy without, you know, the circle and things like that. But there has to be an equivalent exchange, Mm. doesn't there? So... The truth will, if it is, will try to take something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. But it did look a bit odd. It was definitely quite out of place. <laughs> yeah, it was. No, I'm happy with that theory, Angelo. Okay. Not, the, not that one, but like, you know, him being the portal. Okay. All right. It's so disgusting. So if that is the case then, and Gluttony has consumed so many souls and stuff, then they're all going to see the truth as well, and they can use them to create more Philosopher's Stones. Is this the right path? That doesn't sound right. Okay. All right. I'll stop there then. We'll just wait for more uh, clues. Yeah. Yeah. We'll wait for a little <laughs> bit more. I, I kind of don't mind a lot of what you were saying though. May popping up out of nowhere was kind of a bit random to me. It felt like. It kind of felt like a bit of plot armor to save Scar. I, I'm pretty sure she was on her way though. And I'm pretty sure it was to meet Ed. <laughs> Who she, like, idolizes. Maybe I'm not remembering uh, that. We only saw her once, so I don't exactly remember what was said there. And it was at the start of one of the episodes. I'm pretty sure it was Ling's episode as well. And she kind of yelled at Ed and all this stuff. I don't I don't know. I'm sure there was a link there. I'm pretty sure she had a crush on Ed or something. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, because she loves all that alcohistry and Ed is kind of famous. Yeah. 
um, yeah, for this sort of thing. She'll probably, yeah, pop up in the next episode. Like, I'm sure she'll feature. Um, I've only seen, like, 20 seconds of the OP. And I'm pretty sure she was in the OP quite a bit. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So I, I'd imagine she's got a role to play in the in the season. Like, I call it season. Um, in this part of the, the series. Mm. Like Ling. Because uh, Ling's been pretty prominent in this um, second part, I guess. Your theory about Winry maybe becoming a bit of a fighter or whatever. I'm pretty sure I probably said the same thing too earlier on, but I don't think she needs to be. I think that's what they got at towards the end of the yeah, episode. I agree. She's needed in other ways. Yes. She's a very important, like, m- mechanic almost. Yes, exactly. She's very important. She's kept Ed and Al going yeah. this far, and yeah. they're going to have a big part to play in the story. Yeah, she's going to send some um, nice oil to Al. That's nice shining oil. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And hopefully she'll fix Lan Fan up with some nice auto mail. Yeah. Oh, Lan Fan will be like yeah, she, okay with the auto mail. She's still going to be epic. Don't worry. I've got Absolutely, high yes. hopes for Lan Fan. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.